On my next trip to Bermuda in 2006, I again hooked up with Peter B. Wright in our quest to catch a grander blue marlin. Craig and Curtis ran us out to the grounds aboard Real Addiction in search of that elusive big girl. There you go, right long, right long. Right long, right long. There he is, Joe. Got him on now. All righty, blown back. There he comes, guys. He's right there on top. There's the lure. Release. OK. Every blue marlin is more than respectable. OK, hooks are out of him. Got a remora on his bottom. Fish is in great shape. All right, that's the way to do it. Nice going, Dean. Good, let's get another one. We spent day two aboard Captain Jeff Radke's Fortuna. Jeff lives to fish, but is actually a very successful reinsurance executive, one of the offshore financial industries Bermuda is famous for. Oh, got him on. That'll wake you up. Listen to that. Longtime viewers will see the difference between me in 2005 and today is about 130 pounds. Apparently, the difference in fishing success hasn't changed. Oh, wind it up and see what happens. Damn. That wasn't another fish. I doubt that. Maybe it just broke by the crimp. Let's get him out. We're not going to get another bite this way. Bad luck. Let's regroup. We released several more smaller fish before heading home for the day. We next fished with Captain Alan De Silva on his North Carolina Outer Banks Sunny Briggs boat, Demeco with mate Peter Lewis. Aye, aye. Well, that certainly didn't take long. <laughs> what do we got, Bubba? Way to start the day. There you go. <laughs> oh, good gaff job, too. Two for two. Bermudians only discovered the awesome bill fishery while fishing for wahoo and tuna. Something would spool them regularly until they tried using 80 and 130 pound tackle. Wowzer! Good job, dude. Good work. Good job, man. Pretty fish. That right here is the biggest wahoo I've ever caught. That's got to be 60 pounds or more. As a matter of fact, yes, the fishing really is this good. In 2008, Craig and Curtis and I tried something a little different. Well, we ran out here, we're anchored up on the shallowest part of Argus Bank, which is the furthest bank out, and we're looking for bait fish, and we're gonna troll those around for wahoos and tunas. Dean, drop it back, the right down rigger. There you go, you hooked up. Hooked up. Yep. So, Craig and Yes. Wahoo are here in Bermuda year round, aren't they? Yes, they are. The spring and the fall being the best time for them. I see them down there. Lit up. Nice wahoo, too. That's a good, solid wahoo. Very nice. Argus is also called Plantagenet Bank, after British royalty in the times of the Magna Carta. Oh, that's a good fish, too. There he is. Boy, when he turns sideways just the right direction, that is some flash, isn't it? 